In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, our Exodus reading this week at Mass invites us to consider what difference does our prayer life make in our everyday life. Let's reflect on our encountering God in prayer, reflecting on the times when we have fallen short of that invitation, preparing ourselves to celebrate these holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what our conscience dreads and to give what our prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. <clears throat> Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant, so he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy oh, is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy oh, is the Lord our God.
The Lord be with you. And with Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, we continue this week with the Exodus readings, which are a tutorial and a foreshadowing of what the life of prayer, how it impacts us, how it affects us, how it changes us in our outlook, our disposition. As the Catechism says, the Holy Spirit infuses in us, in the life of prayer, the supernatural graces of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. And these issue forth in a palpable, visible peacefulness. Last week I heard a wonderful podcast describing physicians and sociologists who describe medical outcomes for people whose facial characteristics express peace, namely smiles, contentedness, higher levels of anxiety, stress, depression, difficulties in life for people who express a negative facial disposition. All of this is foreshadowed at the supernatural level by these readings from the book of Exodus. Yesterday, Moses, alone among humanity, after Adam and Eve, is privileged with what? Seeing God, not in a book, not in a liturgy, not in a temple, but face to face on Mount Sinai. What does Moses see? He sees the inner characteristics of God and he wants to record this. The Lord is merciful and gracious, rich in kindness and fidelity, slow to anger, continuing his kindness for a thousand generations. And then today, continuing in that encounter with peace and love and mercy and justice itself, Moses himself is transfigured before the community of Israel. His face literally shines with that same peace and confidence and identity and joy and happiness that psychiatrists and sociologists say indicate good, healthy outcomes in life. Brothers and sisters, this prefigures what we see in the gospel today, that when we encounter God in the act of prayer, the interior encounter of our hearts with God's heart, then we find a confidence, a boldness, a peace that invites us to, like the merchant seeking the pearl of great price, to seek the Lord and his face and his holiness and mercy and justice in our prayers. So let us ask ourselves, where is our oar in the water, as St. Augustine said, in the ocean of prayer? Are we pulling our oar in our daily five minutes of prayer, our daily offering of self, a memorare, a rosary, the daily office, scripture study. When we encounter God thusly, your life will change. And to the extent that we have the freedom and the graces infused in us, as Moses did, let us run to this encounter with God himself who desires to change the outcomes of our earthly material life. Jesus, we trust in you. Help us want, like Moses, 
to pray to you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us bring before our merciful Father our prayers, as may be best for us, our families, our parish's future, and our nation. For our priests and religious, May the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen them in their mission of spreading the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the humility of Christ lead them in their governance of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people plagued by fear, anxiety, or depression, may they know God's never-ending love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, May the word of God transform us and empower us in service to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our eternal dead, or for our beloved dead, may God welcome them to the eternal joy of his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Joe Tumbush, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you are closer to us than we are to ourselves. Help us, through prayer, encounter the healing power of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate dutifully, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the spirits, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the, holy, of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you.
Agnus Dei, qui talus te Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. And let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished in the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast in all the evil spirits, prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. St. Therese, 